speak. So as a senior pastor, as a bishop, and as an attorney, I have certain core values that I personally have as it relates to this time that we're in. And I realize that I have to make my decisions based on those values. One of those values is very, very important, being a member, literally, of this city here for born and raised. I recognize that I have to look at the life of those that are unborn, those in the womb. How, how are we going to protect those in the womb? And I realize even with black babies in the womb, they've been unprotected. And as a result of that, they've been a direct result of genocide, of eugenics as a result. And so if I have to determine who is going to protect babies in the womb, I have to support and I have to endorse President Donald J. Trump. Also, as an advocate of religious liberty, I care about religious liberty and religious freedom. And I believe that the next civil rights movement actually is going to be a fight for religious freedom. I believe that the only way that we're going to be able to stand, we have to be religious freedom fighters ourselves. But if I want to protect our First Amendment rights and religious freedom, I have to support and endorse President Donald J. Trump. I also served as the president of Prison Fellowship under, under Chuck Colson. I also was the chairman of Georgia State Board of Pardons and Paroles. I was a commissioner for juvenile justice. I care about criminal justice and prison reform. I've seen the eyes of those that are in prison that are there many times too long and they're not there for rehabilitation. So if I want to see more executive and bipartisan legislative laws, such as the First Step Act, I have to support and endorse Donald J. Trump as President of the United States. I personally attended Howard University Undergraduate School and Law School. I love the existence of historically black colleges and universities. And I want more opportunities for young people to be able to be world changers. So with, in order to have billions of dollars that can come and help those HBCUs, I have to support and endorse the re-election of Donald J. Trump. And lastly, if I want to continue to see a drop in unemployment and a rate of black Americans and to see economic uh, empowerment of the black community, I have to support and endorse President Donald J. Trump as President of the United States. Lastly, if I want to see true change in our nation, hope for our nation, revival in our nation, among black and whites together, I have to support and endorse Donald J. Trump. <laughs>